What's going on you quackers? Welcome back to some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I finally beat Ra I finally beat Radis. That took a very long time. I wanted to pause and try to get most of this footage for you in the beginning, but I recorded as quickly as I possibly could. And here we are. Don't do this or only family. I can't believe you fell for it. You might actually be the dumbest guy I've ever met. Don't think I'm going to show you mercy just because you're my little brother. Yes. Yes, that's what I like to hear. It'll all be over soon. <laughs> Don't get comfortable. You're next. Damn, if I try to hit him now, he's just going to dodge it. Man, I always knew Gohan was hard headed. What is this kid? You're dead! Where did you get all this power? Piccolo, now's your chance! Special Beam Cannon! All right, so there you have it right there. We did get an A on the second time facing him and then an S tier on the first time. The first time was a lot easier because we did have Piccolo's help. Second time was kind of a pain, but fortunately we made it through and now let's continue with the story. Impossible. I, I can't be beaten by scum like this I can't <sighs> well you just were <laughs> I, I I can't believe that Kakarot would just throw away his own life. You idiot. Trust me, Goku won't be dead for very long. What? Didn't you know? This planet is home to the Dragon Balls. They grant wishes. Absolutely any wish imaginable. Even bringing someone back from the dead. Uh, damn it. Well, my comrades will be happy to hear that. <laughs> Everything you just said... ...was transmitted to them. On the other side of the universe. Once they've learned that I've died, they will come here. How long until they're 
When? When will they... When do you think they'll get here? A year. Just one year from now. <laughs> Damn it. One year before even stronger warriors arrive. You two... have no hope of beating them. Enjoy what little time you have left. <laughs> I... I see. That's pretty much it. Come on, Goku! Hang in there! It's not like you to give up so easily! <clears throat> Krillin, you know... Dying... is a lot worse than I thought it would be. <laughs> uh, yeah, but... Don't you worry! We're gonna bring you back really soon! <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Goku! What the? He's gone! Interesting. I bet Kami has something to do with this. Huh? Well, I guess we can put our minds at ease if Kami's involved. You guys need to get the Dragon Balls. Kami doesn't possess the power needed to bring someone back to life. Also, Goku's kid will be coming with me for the time being. Uh, what? Uh, you, you're kidding, right? What are you gonna do with him? With a little training and the right teacher, that kid could be capable of serious power. We're going to need all the power we can get before those two Saiyans show up in a year's time. Me training this little runt is our best shot to stand a chance. Once Goku's revived, tell him he'll get his son back and in better shape than he left him. Piccolo out here just taking kids to train them to their fullest potential. I mean, Piccolo, greatest teacher of all time? And we leveled up again. That's what I like to see. Meanwhile, on a planet far, far from Earth. Raditz, the bastard went and got himself killed. He always was an embarrassment. Still, I must admit, I'm very interested in these Dragon Balls. So they're capable of granting any wish? All right, let's go. We're gonna bring Raditz back from the dead? Don't make me laugh. We have no more use for that dead weight. We could wish for eternal youth, for immortality. Can you imagine it? Nothing could possibly stand in our way. Sounds good to me. Count me in! Invigorated by the prospect of attaining immortality with the Dragon Balls, the two Saiyans made their way to Earth. And that is why I brought him here as he is, to be trained further. Therefore, if it is agreeable to you, King Yama, I humbly ask that you allow him to meet with King Kai. 
Hmm, I see. So you intend to take this heaven-bound soul and subject him to the grueling 625,000-mile-long snake way so he can meet King Kai. Indeed. Very well. If you wish to see King Kai, then I suggest you be on your way. However, I should warn you that no one has ever, ever made it successfully, other than myself, of course, in over 100 million years. Must be one heck of a journey. I better get started. By the way, did a guy named Raditz come through here? Yes, we've got him marked down for hell, of course. Did he put up much of a fight? <laughs> he sure did. He definitely didn't go quietly, but I sorted him out. Whoa! You must be one heck of a strong guy! So, you were sent along with him, huh? I am the great King Yemma. I occupy a position above that of the Earth's guardian. Do you know what that means? That means you're crazy strong, right? You don't seem to understand what I'm saying. Of course I'm strong! But it's not just my strength that serves me in this position. You need brains to do this kind of managerial work. Man a, man a what work? Now then. To help you better understand my work, let's give you a little quiz. Uh, well, um, actually kind of in a hurry. Well then, if that's going to be your attitude, then I guess you don't need to see King Kai. Oh, what? No way! Okay, okay, I'll take the quiz. Why didn't you say that from the beginning? Anyway, let's begin. I'll let you through if you can answer all of my questions correctly. All right, Haddis was Rat Haddis. Oh my God, Radis was sent to the you know where. That's right. He made a mess of enough planets to earn himself a place in hell. In fact, he's one of the biggest pains we've ever had to deal with. Right. Next question. King Yama, of course. Correct. Of course I am. I am much more powerful. Isn't that right, Kami? Ah, yes, King Yama. You are more powerful. Right. Next question. Uh, everyone, because... Radis is a Saiyan. He ain't no human. That's right. No matter where they're from, all who die come here. Like your brother. He wasn't an Earthling. Next question. Not bad. That's correct. Those pesky Dragon Balls are indeed how you do it. I hate those things. It's like my job doesn't even matter. Who created those blasted balls anyway? Care to shed some light on that, Kami? Oh, uh, King Yama, I... <sighs> Whatever. Moving on. Uh, 
Oh, shoot. Um, the fifth question? Sorry, but that... Huh? What? Uh, this is the fifth question, right? Uh, really? Um, one, two, three... D was it? Yeah, I feel like it is the fifth question. Hmm. D of course it was. I, I was just testing you. And you passed the test. Well, that was the true fifth question. There's that trick. No, it wasn't. He just don't want to be wrong. Mm, I heard that, Kami. Maybe I'll send you to hell when it's your time. Oh, please forgive me, Your Highness. Boy, he's got one hell of a sense of hearing. <laughs> oh, you think you're some sort of funny man. Hm. That's enough of all this. I will allow you to see King Kai. Wow, really? Thanks a bunch, Mr. Yemma. Don't tell me you've forgotten who you're talking to! No, 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 Mr. I'm King Yemma, I haven't! <laughs> That's more like it. If you're going to see King Kai, then go! Well, this is where we part ways. Good luck, Goku. Thanks! I'm not really sure what to expect. But I'm pumped to meet this King Kai guy. All right, so we got a couple more soul emblems. I wonder if we can equip those now or once all this all these cutscenes are done. Time to wake up, kid. You've slept long enough. Huh? Who, who are you? Listen up. Time for a reality check. Your daddy is dead, okay? He sacrificed himself to kill the man who kidnapped you, in case you forgot. Wh what? My dad's... <laughs> if his friends are vigilant and able to find the Dragon Balls, they can bring him back. However, we've got other things to deal with. Though we were able to defeat Raditz, it sounds like we've got two of his buddies to worry about a year from now. If that's really the case, your father and I probably aren't going to be enough to take these guys down. We need power. Your power. You're going to have to learn to fight and defend the Earth. Gohan's Crash Course in Survival. Quit your whining! Once I'm done whipping you into shape, you'll be tough enough for anything. Got it? So, y you're gonna train me? Okay, w what do I have to do? You have to live out here on your own, without distraction. I'm giving you six months. If you're able to survive for that long, I'll teach you how to fight. See ya. Huh? Wait! It's scary out here! Don't leave me! Ah! Dang, Piccolo just had a ditch on dip on him like that. I didn't okay. Uh search for food in the surrounding areas. Uh here is where we're gonna end off. 
Um, in the next episode, we'll kind of get this uh, started with Gohan's training and hopefully Gohan calm down there and uh, hopefully get through the Saiyan Saga onto the Frieza Saga as quickly as we possibly can. If you guys did enjoy this episode, do me a favor, hit that like button down below, subscribe to become a fellow quacker today. Until next time, Gohan shush. Uh, it is your boy LB. I'm flying out. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Until then. Stay positive out there, guys. Love you. Peace.